Okay. And I never from. had brain freeze when I was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> like for real though, I'd be yeah. in the studio, motherfuckers be like, I can't come up with anything. I got brain freeze. I'm like, well nigga, hit this. Uh, <laughs> it's so true. Everything. It's true. <laughs> the one time I hit the bong before a business school class, mm. my professor, I, I just raised my hand and I just said, I just flowed. And my professor stopped the class, put her hands together and she said, and that is the heart of the class. That's oh yeah. wow. Like, Thank you, cannabis. <laughs> I believe cannabis got me into Harvard. I genuinely believe that. For real? Yeah. The, the plant helped me understand myself, understand what I want to contribute to the world, mm -hmm. and just go for it, you know, own it. And I think that that's Smoke the experience. Smoke some weed, do your test, exactly. get better. Exactly, <laughs> yeah, I, that's, what, that's what I did. That's, it got me through. You know what, you're not, you're not off, you're right. Because mm -hmm. when I made my best music is when I was on weed. I yep. was, you know, it, I, like everybody was drinking and shit, and I couldn't do the drinking because was, I would slur my words and I wouldn't sound. I wanted to be able to enunciate my words and be mm -hmm. able to, you know, pronounce shit the right way. Feel yourself. So, yeah, so when I was smoking, it would help me tune in to my vocals and my, my arrangement and my melodies mm -hmm. and all of that shit. It just would help me, like, have a laser focus. So I, I understand okay. what you're saying. Mm -hmm. believe it. I think, I think we all believe that. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. it's cool Everyone. how a lot of uh, women and men in general that smoke a lot of weed, they show that they do that. They start businesses. Everyone has their own business. It's like, it's booming right now, you know? Right. And, it's a, a stigma that people had back in the day, like, oh, what are you gonna do? You just smoking weed? Like, what are you gonna do with yourself, you know? And so I think it's come definitely a long way, and I thought it was a great experience. The show is amazing. Going back to the creative talk, like, a lot of artists have to go to a dark place or get really depressed to write, but when you're smoking, you don't have to go to those dark places. Right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it kind of helps you get out of the dark places. So yeah, it yeah. brings you light. So you're not having to balance this, oh wait, I don't have anything, I'm not doing anything, I have to go dark. It's like, you don't have to go there. Right. I did a charity event uh, yeah, last year based on CBD. Um, I have a friend of mine, his name's Miguel Garcia. He has a super rare uh, skin condition called epidermolysis bullosa, it's EB for short. So basically his skin can't reproduce, so his hands are like, you know, meshed together, he's really skinny. Um, but he's just super positive, he's popping on Instagram, he smokes weed, he doesn't even take pain medication, he just takes CBD for the pain. Mm. So we and did a works. whole charity event, Wiz came through, um, oh, that's awesome. Ty was there, I think. It was popping, it was dope. It was amazing for him, you know. Yeah, make him feel like he's Guys gotta check him out. Yeah, what's his name? Miguel Garcia. His uh, Instagram is Dabadoo. Dabadoo. <laughs> Dabba one. Dabba Doo. Dabba Doo. That's one good. for me, two for you. Yep. You know, football players they with head injuries, mm -hmm. they they experience a lot of horror. There's this horrible concussion. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's from the concussions, but they're finding that CBD and cannabinoids are able to regenerate brain cells. And wow. Basically you hear that, that's Roger amazing. Godel? <laughs> so you need to go ahead and, and start smoke up. and start letting the players smoke instead of sending them to those hospitals to get all those pills and those injections that really mess them up more than, you know, than actually than they exactly. are. You know, this is proven to be effective. Okay. A lot of players that retire from your league tell you that this is the best medicine in the world. So Mr. Godell, for me and the ladies of the Queen of the Stone Age, please, please let marijuana be legal in the NFL. You can do Thank it. You. you can do it. Push right. the button. Yep. <laughs> Agreed. Yep. I yeah. want to thank you ladies for coming on my show, thank so you. that's oh, for you. you. Party yes. favors. That's for you. Party favors. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's for you. Yeah. Thank you. And that's it. for you. Uh, oh, bless. Yes. Thank I want to thank you ladies for coming on my thank show. You. So for those unaware, please tune in to MaryJane.com to see these beautiful ladies on Queen of the Stone Age. Yeah, right now, yeah. MaryJane.com. Thank you ladies. <laughs>